and very few places in our society teach that. Most even psychologists don't even know that people have a choice about the way that they're going to feel. Okay. And making big decisions is all about balancing one kind of fear with another kind of fear. Hmm. And when you throw both of those fears out, then you can just do what you want to do and do it happily or not do it happily. So there's no reason to explore feelings. Instead, what we need to do is to work with Anapanasati to practice feeling the way you want to feel. Like, for instance, in reality, it doesn't matter whether you move or whether you buy that place or whether you stay where you are. It doesn't really matter. What matters is how you feel about it. And right now you've gotten yourself into a quandary because you don't like this and you don't like that. Or in fact, mm-hmm. you could be satisfied with where you are or you could drop where you are and be satisfied with moving to the new place. Absolutely. That's, that's all right. To feel good about whatever choice I do. <laughs> so yeah. no choice, right? Right. You're always dealing. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the answer to that is, is that you didn't recognize that you have a complete choice over the way you feel. Exactly. That's true. I was so worried about how the decision will make me feel that I forgot that I could feel however I want about each of them. <laughs> hmm <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I was worried about not fitting a washing machine in the new apartment and how I wash my clothes. (laughs) Well, in Asia, they have all kinds of options. You know, in Asia, they have small living places. And we see ads on not just uh, uh, Asian TV, but on YouTube and other places like that. I mean, it's size. It's only this big as washing machine. You just wash a few things at a time in it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, no. But the point is, yeah, you're right. You can feel how I choose to feel about either moving or not moving. (laughs) Mm -hmm. That's much better than worrying about what's the right decision. Make whichever decision the right decision by feeling good about it. That's much better. Yes. I don't know about Europe, but I do know in the United States that um, the standard mentality that everybody has is that they have to have a washer that's a huge washer that sits on the floor. And you stand up and you put stuff in either on the top or in the front loader or top loader. And then they have a dryer. Well, you don't need a dryer. You just hang clothes out. That what you need, in fact, is a, is a, a, a spinner, a spin cycle that, you know, spins long enough to take most of the water out. Then you can just hang them up in your apartment, decorate your apartment with your drying clothes. Actually, in that building, people hanging them up outside in the public, in a common hall, <laughs> because there is no space mm-hmm. for them hanging up. So there are solutions. <laughs> Thank you now, as far Actually, as the mo- the monks go is just that they don't even bother with a little washing machine. Everything that they do is washed by hand and normally the monks will wash their clothes when they're washing their body. Mm. They take the clothes off while they're in the shower, wring them out, get them fresh, put them back on wet, and off huh. they go. Huh. Oh, that's actually a, a good option. <laughs> Pardon? That's actually an interesting option. I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Not sure if putting them on, I would put some dry clothes on, but washing them while on the shower, it's a good idea. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. One of the things you can do is you can put it on the floor and dance on it. <laughs> sort of like they do grapes in Italy. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, awesome. 
<laughs> I'm not, I will go because actually I, I, I will visit this apartment now. <laughs> so I'm uh, living towards visiting for hopefully the last time before making a decision. Um, I will go there now, but I will go there knowing that whatever choice I do, thank you. I could feel however I want about it. <laughs> I mm -hmm. need to worry so much and it will be okay, whatever it is, even I move or not. So. Yeah, begin to have an easy life and remember that the easy life is a choice, not a decision. The decision is, are you going to stay where you are and rent and pay rent and feel like you're paying rent and losing the money for the rent and then you got to pay more rent or buying a house or apartment and then you're stuck with it and then you've got to, to, uh, uh, to keep it up. Now that it belongs to you, you belong to it. You're responsible for keeping it up. Yeah. Okay. And, and all of those uh, decisions that people have to make are almost always made based upon the way they feel. But they don't even know that. They think that they're making an intelligent course, or in fact, they're making always an emotional choice. And they do that ignorantly. So I invite you to get your feelings all straightened out, feel the way that you want to, and then make your choice, make your decision about what Thank you me. want to do with the building. Thank you so much. I'm always talking to you so helpful. Thank you for your time. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go ahead and finish this call. It's been a short one, but it's been a sweet one. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. All right, ciao. All right. Bye-bye.